Welcome, in this video we're gonna talk through how to create your app. Uh, we're gonna start this, this is the intro video, so it's really just getting the basic functionality of your app set up, the basic settings, and then we'll walk into different feature sets and pages that you can add and functionality. Uh, but for this video, we'll talk about how to get started from scratch. So if you've never logged in uh, or you've never created an app on Shoutin' before, you'll be coming into your Create Your App button. And when you click this, you'll be hitting your 14-day free trial. And if you've never logged in, you'll be entering in a bit of login information, uh, just entering in what kind of app you're looking to build and also your email address. From there, you'll be able to select the app type you're trying to build. And in this video, we're gonna just select the church app here. You'll click Create. And then you'll have the option for just a few different look, feel layouts. No worries, you'll be able to change this once you get into the app if you don't like the way it looks or if you wanna change some color scheme. A lot of options to be able to customize this, some themes to make it a bit easier, just give some general changes. So uh, we're gonna just choose one of these themes. We're gonna go with this blue theme and hit Continue. And then we get to choose our navigation. We're gonna start with this one, and then if we wanna switch it up, we'll talk through how to switch that up. Just giving us a recap of our features here, and we'll go ahead and hit Create App. Now while that's going, if you've already created an app before, you'll be able to go into My Applications, and you'll be able to just create a new app, and this walks through a very similar flow. So again, we're doing a church app. we we'll just click that. And instead of giving us the options on different themes and navigation layout it's just gonna go ahead and create it and then we can make those changes once we're in here so now we're at the starting screen here and a couple things that you might want to do right out of the box is you might just want to name it out of the gate particularly if you're playing around with a few different options this will help you differentiate between them when you get into this my applications and you're viewing the different apps you've set up so in this one we'll just put in uh, let's just do um, DVC app uh, and we'll go ahead and set that and now that the app name is set in addition we've got these options for navigation I'm gonna pull over my screen share if you haven't downloaded the disclose app we've got another video on that that'll show how to use the disclose app and what that's gonna allow you to do is get a live preview of your app as you're building it it's really useful as you're going in and making color changes or adding menus or adding copy uh, to certain pages within your app because it can give you a way to see exactly how your end user would see it. So we're gonna keep this up here. Again, if you haven't gone in and downloaded that, you've never used it before, check out the video on the, how to use the Disclose app uh, and it gives you good instruction on how to walk through that. Now, as you can see, we've got these different navigation elements at the bottom, these different menus that we can go to. And this is the navigation layout. But let's say we wanted this drawer layout with a hamburger menu at the top. It's as easy as just clicking on that drawer menu. And when you do that, you're gonna to need to refresh your app. So we'll go ahead and refresh it by giving the phone a little shake here. When we shake it, we give the option to restart the preview, which we'll do. Now you can see that we have this hamburger menu at the top, and that's the new layout of our navigation. A couple of the other things you can do is you could change up these icons if you like. So instead of for daily prayer, instead of using this one, maybe we want that. And what it'll do is once we refresh, it's gonna change all these, uh, whichever elements we change, whichever icons we change, it'll update them right here. Again, it's nice to be able to shake it and get a good feel of how it's changed. Now, if you wanna get very in depth in terms of changing font and colors and things like that, you do have the option to either click here uh, or go into the styling and change it here on main navigation. They both get you to the same place. But we won't go too in-depth into that in this video, but you do have a lot of options in terms of changing icon colors, background colors, a lot of different options in fully personalizing your app. Not necessary, but if you really want to get deep into it, certainly something you're able to do. The other thing we want to cover in this video is changing your themes. This is just going to change the overall look. So rather than going through and making these individual changes, We've pre-built different themes that look and work well together in terms of font, color, styling. And so maybe we want to go with this lighter theme for this app. And so all we have to do is click that and apply the theme. And when we do that and we update our app by giving it a little shake again, we'll restart the preview. 
And again, you can see it now has a much lighter feel to it. And that's it. In some future videos here, check them out. We'll give you more tips on how to make some changes to the different look and feel, in addition to going into features and functionalities you can add to your app.